I don't want a damn participation trophy. It's for being at the company for 30 years. I'm just doing my damn job. You get a cruise. A cruise? I got an award once when I was a kid, and I remember it like it was yesterday. My dad ran up to me, and he snatched the award out of my hand, and he said, You don't deserve this award because you came in second place. He never talked to me, so that was a pretty great day. I've got like 20 trophies at home. <laughs> I never actually won anything, but they kept giving me trophies. <laughs> Unfortunately, that hasn't translated into any sort of real life success. And now I feel like I'm special and owed something for doing the absolute bare minimum. <laughs> I've never actually won anything, but I am Diamond in League of Legends. So, you know, there's that. Back in my day, the only award we needed was not getting polio. Okay, well, here's your award. What the f is this? Hey there. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I think that's mine. Who invited the homosexual? <clears throat> no Indian food, American food, hot dog, <clears throat> hot dog. Oh, damn it. It's not even on. I don't care if he's handicapped. I'm just going to call. Oh, my friend just texted me. He said he got in a car accident. <laughs> Let me text him real quick. Hold on a second. Hope you're okay. Lol. Laugh cry emoji. Stressed emoji. Car emoji. <laughs> oh, I'm in an ambulance. LOL. Shrug emoji. <laughs> I never understood why millennials use so many emojis. <laughs> it's ridiculous. You don't have to use a laughing face after you say LOL. You guys have Fortnite at the hospital? Back in my day, if you mentioned the concept of a touchscreen, they'd put you in a mental hospital. Ah, okay. The only people lazier than the Polish are the Hungarians. It's called company loyalty. You gotta work for one company your entire life. And if you work really, really hard and with a little bit of luck, you'll die before they force you to retire. The owner of my company is a billionaire and he gives us a pizza party like, like once a month. I mean, that must cost him so much money. He really, really cares about the little guy. And who knows, one day I might be a billionaire. Mm. Want some? So I worked at Google for a while until they laid me off. <laughs> and, then, and then I went to Facebook where they laid me off. <laughs> they keep laying me off. So now I walk dogs. What do I do for work? Uh, I'm in accounting. Ah, so you like working with numbers. Mm. Not that type of accounting. Back in my day, me and the fellas from the asbestos factory would go throw bricks through the Italian family's windows. We called that a pizza party. I need everyone to get the hell out of the way because I'm going to be late for my dinner at Chili's. <laughs> F*** you, Biden bumper sticker Prius. I hope whoever got in an accident and caused this traffic is happy. At least I can listen to my new audiobook. Why Your Parents Never Loved You, a novel. This is going to be a good one. Oh boy, I think we're going to be late. <laughs> I think so. I hate being late. <laughs> I hate it so much. All right, let me practice on you before we get there, okay? <clears throat> I'll have the chicken tenders, please. <laughs> F*** yeah. I'm never leaving my house again. Help, he's Polish. <clears throat> I think I sh my pants. Picking out your yard for the Rizzler. You're so skibbity. You're so fire on <coughs> Are you and dad getting a divorce? I'm here to drop off my dog, Ronald Reagan. And you better not make him look like a girl this time. Pickup was at 3.30 and it's now 3.35. I hope you're gonna compensate me for my time. Also, I told you last time, he doesn't like the color red. I am dropping my child off for a spa day. <laughs> Name's Cora. She looks angry, but she's really not. <laughs> I bought her on a credit card that I'm still paying off. <laughs> I'm gonna drop off my cat. Her name's Marjorie Taylor Greene because she never shuts the f up, right? Exactly. <coughs> Do you guys have animals here? Yeah, we have a bunch of them. Okay. 
Sometimes my parents eat gummy worms and then they laugh a lot. It's pretty freaking cool. Back in my day, only the Italians were animal groomers because no one trusted them to do anything else. Are you here to drop off a dog? I don't have a dog, unless you count my wife. Ah, uh, good one. You look like your parents are ashamed of you. Give me a damn refund. Sorry, sir, what's the problem? I bought this here and it doesn't work anymore. So you want to return that item? I want to say something racist. I need to return this item, and before you ask, no, I don't have a receipt. Unfortunately, you do need a receipt. I thought you'd say that. Well, I hope you're ready for my f***ing Yelp review. Hey there. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I hope you're having a great day. Honestly, this decision to come and return this item took me about three days. <laughs> okay, so I do need to return this. Do you have a receipt? A receipt. <laughs> No. Hi, I checked your app for the return button, but I couldn't find it. So we physically need the item to return it. Mm. Okay, so I have to have the item in person to return it. Okay, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> honestly, this has been extremely embarrassing for me. So I'm going to tell you that I'm going to go get the item from home, but honestly, I'm never coming back. <laughs> okay, see you later. I'm shopping online from now on. Back in my day, the only thing that returned was a world war. And that was World War II. Right. Um, how can I help you? I just took a in your employee-only bathroom, and I missed the toilet. Socialism is ruining this country. Anyways, I'm gonna use Medicare to go visit my doctor. I don't like the male nurse they have because I think he might speak Spanish. They won't let me see the female nurse after what happened last time, but that was fake news. My generation aren't a bunch of babies. We're not afraid of anything, let alone a little cough and an illness. <laughs> I have a cough and a sore throat. Why don't my parents love me? I'm sick, but I don't have insurance. <laughs> I know that's not funny. It's not funny. You know, it's terrible. It's a terrible state of affairs. <laughs> so either I'm going to get better or I'm going to die. <laughs> I'll take either. I'll take either. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Hey, Dad, is a bottle of NyQuil too much to take at once? Back in my day, only women went to the doctor. Okay, what would you like to order? I want that female nurse over there to give me a prostate exam. This is an Olive Garden. I didn't ask any questions. Hey, happy new year. <laughs> Listen, maybe you should use 2024 to find a better job and stop being so damn lazy. Please pull your card out. I'm f***ing talking to somebody. You know, maybe in 2024 we, I don't know, leave the colored hair behind. <laughs> we could go ahead and leave that back in 2023. You should probably work on looking a little more normal and fitting in. <laughs> Anyways, my generation were the last ones who play outside. 2023's been tough. Yeah, it's been a tough year. It's, it's been a tough few years, okay? <laughs> but what's the worst that could happen in 2024, huh? Another financial crash? <laughs> Please, maybe home prices will go down. Do you think in 2024 you could, I don't know... Stop calling me. You can text me. I'll take a f***ing Facebook message over a call. I want to wish everybody a very happy new year. Everybody. Unless you're Irish, Italian, Polish, Hungarian, any sort of Eastern European like Serbian, Bosnian, Croatian, Slovenian, Slovakian, Albanian, people who like Chevys, uh, I already said Albanians. <clears throat> Time for the big game. Martha, give me a bear. A bear. Wonder how many times they're going to show Taylor Swift. I'm not watching the game if all they show is Taylor Swift. Dad, you doing good? Shut up. Okay. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey, can you get me for the halftime show? All right, thanks. And the commercials. Hey there, neighbors. Who's ready to go nuts? <laughs> I'll find a seat. Kansas City is a hole. Contact sports really show how aggressive we've become as a society. I prefer esports. Plus, I don't have to leave my room. If you think they're aggressive now, try being raised when I was raised, okay? <laughs> you sound like a beta, right, Dad? Shut the f up. Okie dokie. Yeah, I agree with him. <laughs> Everyone is a little too aggressive now, babe. Okay. Back in my day, we didn't wear helmets like these Nancy boys. Dad, just try to enjoy the game. Why are they all wearing shoulder pads like women? Hey, 
I've been waiting here for over an hour. I've told you three times now, you don't have an appointment. Don't lie to me. I need to get my prostate exam done today. This is a pediatrician's office. I don't know what that means. Your copay is $50. $50? I have the best insurance money can buy. Nice. The copay is $50. Do you know how much money I make? Hey there, checking in for my appointment. Do you have insurance? <laughs> Good question. I don't. <laughs> okay, so self-pay. Mm. You can't get blood out of a stone. <laughs> you, ever, you ever heard that one? Yeah. Do you guys do payment plans? Hi, my mom made me an appointment. Okay, great. Do you have insurance? Uh, yeah, I guess, yeah. Right, and who is your insurance provider? I, I didn't know that there was more than one. Back in my day, if you were sick, you just shut the f up. Unless it was polio, then you died. Sir, the doctor will be right with you. I want that nurse over there to give me a physical. You're not here for a physical. I am now. Back when I was a kid, we could roll around and let it gasoline. We could eat paint chips. Delicious. We could do whatever we wanted. Now, they say we got lead poisoning. <laughs> I don't think so. And don't you say otherwise. We were the last generation to play outside and drink from the hose. Why do you keep saying that? Kids nowadays still do that. Well, we had Ataris. It was amazing growing up right when the internet was coming out. I mean, the world was at our fingertips. That includes websites that showed disgusting, inhumane things that no 12 year old should see. <laughs> but, but he did see them and he's had nightmares ever since. <laughs> my childhood was pretty good. I mean, my parents did limit my screen time to four hours a day, which is practically child abuse. Back in my day, asbestos was the bestest. Okay, but how was your childhood? I've died seven times and my wife keeps reviving me against my will. Hey, deposit. Have you tried using the ATM? What do you mean ATM? ATMs are for women. There was an extremely long line at the ATM, so hopefully you can go out and do something about that. Anyways, I need to pay my mortgage. Have you ever tried our website? Online, so the government can track me? No thanks, Joe Biden. Hey there, your ATM wasn't working outside, so I had to come inside, <laughs> unfortunately. Listen, I need to deposit this $20, please. You were minus $20 in your account. Oh, okay. Guess who's having a McChicken for dinner? <laughs> me, I'm, I'm having a McChicken for dinner. Are you hiring? I need to deposit some cash that I got for Christmas, but your ATM outside is broken. Okay, can you fill out a deposit slip for me? What the f is that? Back in my day, only women worked at banks. Well, it is 2024. I see your name tag says English and Spanish. This country is going downhill. No, absolutely not. I ain't doing any of this robot shit. If I don't have a person in front of me, then who am I supposed to yell at and demean about grocery prices? Great. Not only do I have to ring up my own groceries, but it's also recording. You know, I don't consent to being recorded in public, okay? Hello? Hello, anybody? No one's listening to me. Just like my childhood. Hey there, self-checkout machine. I'm getting f***ed up tonight. <laughs> I'm just, I'm talking to myself. Right? Age-restricted item. Okay, yeah. Hi. Yeah, you need to see my ID? No, I'm good. You're definitely in your 30s. Okay. You've got to be stupid to use anything else but self-checkout. Please scan your first item. Can someone help me, please? Back in my day, we'd find all the checks in our neighborhood and we'd kick them out. We called that self-checkout. Please scan your first item. Why do you have the face of an ugly old man and the voice of a robotic woman? Oh, that's just my reflection. Son of a b